ready to go. Okay. Oh, hold on. Uh, can, can anybody hear me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry to see the audio. See if I can. This is my uh, live stream on Genshin. In not Genshin. Uh. Oh, the Hunkai Star One point. One, one. I want to apologize. Uh, this is nice. Good. The value of choice lies in unwavering resolve. Okay, can everybody hear that? It's like this game board thing. Fifteen hours. Sheesh. Hmm. 
And this and the new story is called Devil in the Velvet. Mm. Grinding in the dark. It's getting late. Where to now? I'm using my, uh, my, my... PC's inter internal microphone. Shop it. We're gonna continue, this continues to so Coney. this friend of mine. Pinnacone's story quest. Give me a minute of your time and you can avoid being duped. Watch out for that guy with dark blue hair. Yeah, we are we are for Sampo. And that's it. a special package from a former name, former and now deceased nameless Meg, who used to be part of the Astro Express. It came with a, she came with a package. Okay. <sighs> Go to the aptitude showcase. I'm gonna start Acheron's character trial. Acheron is a lightning type. No me. Acheron is a lightning type. Stream four. The gleam of old blades. I follow the path. Their ability is bitch. It's really OP. Stream four. The gleam of old blades. Hey. God, that's so fucking awesome. Me, Pella, and Sam power on with Acheron. Storms on the horizon. She actually follows the trial of Nahility. Do we still have the mm. upper hand? I'll contain them. Sampo Koski always takes care of his friends. Try this on for size. Yeah, yeah. What are you waiting for? The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. The anticipation for Akron is amazing. Indestructible. Hmm? 
I weep for the departed. Oh, that's Dust springs. The two shall fall. Damn. Did you come here of your own she volition? Or was it fate? Nah, nah. This one's as fleeting as the dawn's dill, destined for oblivion. Destined. Sounds like more business, Nagi. <laughs> we have the upper hand enough. Mental support. Net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. I swear, I thought is so fucking old. Her... Her skill alone is. Is that. <gasps> Her skill alone is okay outside of battles of peace. Flaming Knight! Like me, her hair turned away. Forward! There's some reference to the writing May. But Honkai's style counterpart. You know that she is an emanator of my hoodie. That's what. Not emanator. Lance at the ready. Of what she's emanator of. I weep for the departed. Dust rain. The two shall fall. Waters of oblivion, I died for oh, wandering so That is OP as fuck. I'm sorry. Not quite sure if she connected to the other of her other counter games counterparts, like Raiden Shogun. Or Raiden Mei, Raiden Shogun of Genshin Impact, and Raiden Mei of Honkai Impact. We don't know that if you've seen her. Now we're gonna do with Gallagher. Who is a who is a fire type character who follows the path of abundance? Ooh, hello. Ranos kicks. Oh shit! Watch yourself. Oh, I'll be oh, taking point. Cool. Watch yourself. That's up the wolf green class. <clears throat> Quirk is free. Use <laughs> parasitical and awesome. You've got a lot of nerve. Also, fire type characters. Oh, this is gonna be nice, fun. like a good brew. Full butt, my friends. <coughs> Indulge yourself. This guy's you won't get away. Horse. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Ready to play your ace, huh? That is so awesome. I remember inviting me. <laughs> Everything is ordained by the stars. Blessing. Oh, profound secrets of the stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Detailed over because I misplaced the ones I have. You won't get away. I don't need them to scared yet. Let's see. 
Another big let's kick things off with you. Who's that? Gotta just the head of the like a good brew. Full Security body, my friend. Indulge yourself. don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Go to the store. I got two thousand, two thousand two hundred and ninety stellar jade. I'm still waiting another four days for the mm. Okay. Time. Worlds of your. We mustn't cling to the past.
Dude, how many, how many of these do I have? Four star that comes. I'm not I'm not getting rid of Peppy. We have one star rail pass, special pass, on these single poles. <sighs> I just like that there's been a most on Gene. I pulled Gene that one time. I'll just Just all those stellar dudes just fucking wasted.
Ah, oh, friend. My expression wasn't much better than yours when I first saw this. Your eyes aren't deceiving you. It's her. The famous singer, Robin. How's it possible? Well, first of all, can I just say that this had nothing to do with me? I'm just an unlucky bystander here. The family can testify for me. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone in the Bloodhound family. They hate me, and they hate the IPC. So they- This is not where the crime happened. What I showed you was a memory. The most basic light cone manifesting tech. Authorized by the Garden of Recollection, and owned by the IPC. Did you really think the Galaxy Rangers were outsiders this whole time? Panacone has made a solemn commitment to protect the safety of anyone inside a family dream. Any person in distress will be forcibly awakened and safely returned to reality. What gives them the confidence to make such conclusive statements? Because behind this promise is the harmony. The family's Dreamweavers link up their minds together to construct an unbreakable defensive line. Breaking through this line of defense to create death in the dreamscape. <laughs> Not even a memo keeper could do that without the family's permission. Who could have done it, friend? The only one is her. The girl who calls herself a Galaxy Ranger. An imposter. An unsought guest. An emanator who hides her true identity. Ifrit's death was a foregone conclusion. And Robin? Her misfortune was staring right at her. Who will be the next to die? This reality is hard to take in. It's fine. Listen to your gut. Building trust always takes time, and I'm willing to wait. I just hope you realize that wherever that legacy is concerned, covert plans are already underway throughout Panacone. Everyone's got their own agenda. Careful you don't get stuck on the wrong side. <laughs> if I were you, I'd keep my distance from Acheron. After all, any schemes out in the open are always going to be better than a monster in the shadows, right? Who's to say there isn't an even deeper conspiracy lurking beneath the surface? Memo Keeper, I think our little deal is finished. Aventurine is telling the truth. This memory is a real one. And there's no sign of any distortion grafting on. The IPC is not the Garden. And there are real limits to what they can actually do. But you know all this. Friend, let's not beat around the bush here. The thing is, I want to reach out personally to team up with the Astral Express. I told you I'm just not interested in scrambling for the legacy. I just came to Pentagoni for work. I'm here to retrieve some lost property for the IPC, if you catch my drift. I'm talking ownership of this frontier prison. This has all become a bad debt thanks to the cancer of all worlds. The IPC has tried sitting down for negotiations time and again, but the family wouldn't even take our calls. 
You have no idea how difficult these people are to deal with. Put it this way, they've hushed up the existence of death before, so they can definitely cover up any news about Robin's death. It'll just quietly float off like a bubble and pop. Nobody ever been the wiser. That's not fair, right? So then, friend, I need your help. What kind of help? I have but only one goal. <clears throat> The family's front door is like a high wall, and to tear the whole thing down, I'll have to dig out a few chunks first. Once I find a weak point, the IPC will have plenty of means. Now we have our chance. So long as we can get to the truth behind her death, we can have justice for Robin. <laughs> While also gaining a valuable bargaining chip for bringing the family to the table. Truly a once in a blue moon opportunity. I've been investigating and making lots of friends all over Panacone precisely for this very moment. This tragic news would be extremely bad for the family, so they'll be doing everything they can to stop it leaking, especially to the IPC. But I trust that there are still a few factions that remain exceptions, and that's why I need you all. The reputation of the Astral Express precedes you. And the Harmony will give you the fairest of appraisals. You get to find out really what happened and seek justice. And I get to put it toward completing my mission for the IPC. It's what you call a win-win situation. You want to take advantage of the family's trust in us. Well, don't worry, just head back and talk things over with your companions. That navigator is really smart. She must understand the value of this deal. Look, here's my contact details. If you come to any conclusions, call me. Oh, and take this. A thorough investigation can always use a little more funding. Don't mention it. So long, friend. I really am looking forward to uncovering the truth about death with everyone. A venturing just sauntered off. He really doesn't mean to force it, but something still seems off. What now? What are your plans? Black Swan. What is she thinking? surface this doesn't look like a bad deal for you but aventurine is a shrewd merchant whose scheme won't just be as simple as it appears to be he doesn't know about miss firefly yet but judging by your reaction he may have noticed something going on and deliberately shifted topics to the truth of death to try and pull you in line with his way of thinking that's quick thinking, and very sound logic. Aventurine is no fool, and working with him definitely has its dangers. The Nemus cannot turn a blind eye to evil. But you're talking about real evil. Anyway, be careful out there. There's more than one way to blaze a trail. In a dark forest beset by wolves, ensuring your own escape to safety should be your primary concern. As for the other questions... Did death kill Robin? I'm not sure the two cases were committed by the same culprit, but that massive wound looked like its winged blade. We've all witnessed it in action before. Plus, it seems unlikely that there would be two lethal entities loose in the dreamscape. Do you think this is connected to Akron? Sorry, I can't answer that question. That ranger is shrouded in mystery. I'm afraid no one is capable of providing an answer. But, without a doubt, she is the most special guest at this banquet. It's like Aventurine said just then. It's best to keep your distance from her. I 
I've seen nor is anything unusual. Two victims appearing one after the other in a very short time span. In and of itself, that's very unusual. Two possibilities. The collapse of Panacone's dreamscape has started speeding up, making death extremely agitated and weakening the family's protections. Or everything has been planned out and executed by someone. If someone has chosen these victims deliberately, first a smuggler, then a family celebrity, then this murderer's motives are worth thoroughly chewing over. It's all happened so quickly, I can only make conjecture. After leaving here, go have a chat with your companions. I hope you can clarify the source of this confusion. Come, this way. It's a short walk. Don't get lost. This way, this is where we part ways. All of this is like a nightmare. Unfortunately, the remembrance doesn't lie. What we just saw is the reality that happened, and it won't fade from our minds just because we wake up. But follow your heart and don't be afraid. We all walk through this world casting shadows of different lengths, and ultimately, all we leave behind are precious memories. Ah, oh, hold on just a sec. There you go, a small parting gift. If one day you unfortunately fall into the deep waters of the memory zone and there's no memo keeper to join you, hopefully it can guide you on my behalf. I also pay great attention to the ways of the world. Just think of this as an apology from me for hiding something from you. Thank you. Then, I have something private to take care of regarding that Galaxy Ranger. Let's leave things there, shall we? What fascinating memories will you bring for me next time we meet? I sincerely look forward to them. Family rep. Is Himago okay? It's So much has happened. 
I should take a moment to gather my thoughts and wait for everyone to arrive. Sometimes go in a deep memory zone. Better unsheath that blade now, Ranger. Do you still dream, Hunter? Of those slain by your hand? Still alive, as are you. You still have room to make a choice. Leave the music box behind, and then go. Choice. The bloody trail of the destruction leaves no room for hesitation. The Taurus Fire Demon. Even if you sacrifice your life for that eon, you won't get special treatment. Ranger. You'll tread the narrow path of the hunt. You could never understand. We come from the fire, and are born bathed in fire. We spread, burn, and destroy until all the kindling has burned out and we leave only ashes on the ground. Burning forms the entire life of a fire demon, from the beginning to the end. We are born to die just to put into practice a profile of another universal truth. All things are created for the destruction. Your companions don't seem to think so. They fight for your chance at survival. They are my children, and just as I was, they are flames that have yet to burn wide heart. They're still young. My flames are faint, and time is running out. Can you see the planet of festivities in the distance? I plan to bring purgatory with me there, and before that, I must surpass you. Why? Because on the path they have forged, you have traveled farther than I have. Emanator. <sighs> you cannot hide your true identity. Draw that sword, for we shall indeed remain here, bound to fight a decisive battle to the death, for I choose this. Destruction is intense, but brief. To cravenly cling to life is to endure an endlessly prolonged existence. Even if the answer turns out to be your own destruction. What is important is not the answer, but that it exists, just as you exist. Everything exists to be destroyed. Emanators are no different. Just as even sweet dreams may be born of the void, the so-called in Possible is merely something that is yet to happen. <sighs> All right, I accept. 
You shall witness the most brilliant and intense fire in existence. May this flame illuminate the farthest reaches of your bottomless dream. A bottomless dream. <laughs> yes, that's right. But you've made one small mistake. This blade remains in its scabbard not out of pity or scorn. It's a personal secret that I don't want to disclose, but... Perhaps out of reciprocity. I'll reveal the truth to you. The hunt is not the path I truly follow. May death be the end of your boundless dream. Guiding you back to the waking world. I still see them in my dreams. <gasps> Hold it. Your time hasn't come yet. My time. I've seen many clever disguises that can conceal appearances. But they can never cover up who a person really is. And you're no different. You had no desire to kill the Trailblazer. You only did what you did to drive me and the Memo Keeper away, but... Why? <sighs> did Destiny's slave make you do it? You know, Elio. Hmm. I thought this is just the kind of thing that'd get written into your script. My script has always been brief. Other than that, anything beyond that is unnecessary. He knows my nature. There is but a single destiny from which no one can escape. And until then, I hold the privilege of choice. However, you appear to be ignorant <clears throat> of this. So it's time for me to inquire. Who exactly are you? Not your enemy, perhaps. That's not what I asked. I don't deserve your curiosity. Loners wandering the cosmos always have their secrets. Take me. I'm wanted by the IPC, so it's little wonder that I know something about the Stellaron Hunters. That's all. Maybe I can help. What reason would you have for doing that? I tend to forget things. Which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. So... I know who is inside that cold armor. How about it? Ready to take off that armor and sit down for a talk? It's not yet time. I don't need help. But I can give you a suggestion that would make things better for you and me. If your goal is the Watchmaker's legacy, then go look into the family. Not only are they covering up the existence of death, but they're burying the past and the truth about what happens inside the dreamscape. Already on it. And the Astral Express is no enemy of yours. I know that. I just never expected to hear you say it. What's next, then? The Trailblazer's been taken by Black Swan. Will you go look for him? No need for that. No harm in mentioning that Elio's only given me one instruction. Get all of the Astral Express to track down the Grand Legacy. 
I tried settling this in an easier and more direct way. But as you can see, here I am, confronting you. <coughs> I failed. Can't ever go against the script. The so-called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. That's it. Before we split, can I ask you one more thing? Is there anything else in your script about me? I'd like to know what kind of footnote I get to leave in that future foreseen by destiny. Unfortunately, not a thing came up. <laughs> I knew it. Don't. What? Your first question was... Do you still have dreams about everyone who died because of you? I don't. Never have. I was born without the ability to dream. I live for this cold, harsh reality. For a little light, and to burn, to keep on burning, until I turn to ash. So, I really envy you. Is that so? And you're already living in the waking world. This is Dave Golden Hound. We heard about Miss Firefly from Black Swan, but. We never expected Miss Robin to... Oh, I'm sorry that I couldn't be with you then. Reality cruises on in serenity, while undercurrents bubble up from the dreamscape. Just like that memo keeper said. Stay strong, everyone. We can still do what we can for them. Starting with finding the murderer. Let's recap everything, then. The Trailblazer just reminded me of something. March, do you remember what that family rep who negotiated with us said? Uh, indeed we trust that the Nameless has nothing to do with this, and we also beg each of you to help assist the family in verifying the identity of the deceased. Uh, that's how it was put, in reference to Miss Firefly. Looking back, he seemed a little evasive at the time. And he also failed to mention anything about the earlier murder, too. The family's planning on covering up all news about Miss Robin's death. If news gets out, Penacone's going to turn into a bloodbath. But the murder that followed closely after was obviously beyond their anticipation. The family had to try and turn things to their advantage by bringing in reinforcements from outside. The Charmony Festival is nearly here. They must be snowed under. It may also be that Miss Firefly's murder had so many witnesses that it couldn't be covered up. So they went with the flow and let more people on the scene to control the situation. After all, the nature of the two murders is fundamentally different. The family's first protective measure should be against malicious actors among the guests, such as that IPC envoy. He's really up to no good. All the while accusing that galaxy ranger. Are we missing the forest for the trees here? I always felt that Aventurine's reasons for accusing Miss Acheron were highly subtle. Can we believe him? At this point, I'm afraid the only ones we can trust are ourselves. Look, 
Let's try to gather intel first and then list all the possible outcomes we can. Then we go through them, eliminating contradictions one by one. The fewer facts remaining, the closer we are to the truth. I've still got this sense of foreboding. It's like we're stuck in a whirlpool, spinning around that legacy even after everything that's happened. Uh, this time we're playing the role of a real detective. But before we start, what are we going to say to the family and adventuring? As I see things, the family harbors no ill will towards the Astral Express. If they didn't trust the crew, they wouldn't have casually commissioned outsiders to investigate a case that's in all likelihood a scandal. Plus, this is the family's turf. Teaming up with them should make things easier for us in the future. As for that Aventurine, well, I'd like to hear your thoughts. He's complex. He deliberately slow played his hand during negotiations while running circles around us all the while. He appealed convincingly to both reason and emotion. It wasn't forced, but the intent was obvious. Still, it's good to have contacts among all this uncertainty. Adventurine showed his skills, and as far as our interests are aligned, he can become a reliable ally. We also need to keep a certain distance from the family. Never let them get too close. Teaming up with the IPC helps balance that out. If either side makes a move, we have the option to pull out. So you suggest accepting Aventurine's proposal to team up? Yes. It's risky, but we can only wait until both sides have played their cards before making any further judgments. I get why, but there's a whole lot of bad guys and girls around here, and I'm worried about getting stabbed in the back. He's been bullied a few times now, and I can't stand it anymore. Aww, you're like a broken record. Uh, forget about it. Just let me keep an eye on him. If that doesn't work, we can just turn the tables and use him instead. Then, could you please reply to Aventurine? Everyone, take this time to put together your thoughts. like Aventurine is happy with this outcome. Let's tell everyone about it. Checked off the list. I really love Clocky. Aventurine's goal is to try and recapture Penacony for IPC. To do this, he'll have to bring down the family in its entirety to create a big enough chance. The existence of death will be covered up by the family. So how does he plan on taking them down? It's gotta be something important enough that everyone will notice. But it also can't be anything too out in the open. An attack on the hotel guests? Unlikely. Pinnacone's guests include quite a few bigwigs known throughout the whole cosmos. People who not even the IPC would dare take lightly. Aventurine is a shrewd merchant, and there's no way he doesn't know that. He's definitely going for the family, and it's just a matter of how. 
The harmony is strong in Pena County and almost impossible to take on head to head. The fact that the IPC dispatched Venturine shows that they do not intend to simply play by the book here. Aventurine has devoted considerable attention to her, but this Galaxy Ranger, we know hardly anything about her and can't rush to any conclusions. Hmm, I was also considering this possibility, especially because he respects you so much and has sought you out before a few times. Perhaps he's also unsure of your intentions and is probing you. I'm just speculating. In any case, we have to be careful when handling Aventurine. He's skilled at reading people and discerning the right moment to strike. Also, he's clearly a born gambler if he's willing to go all in to win. soon to bring it up but I feel like Miss Robin isn't actually dead but that she's still alive and well somewhere that everything's just <coughs> some horrible prank because aren't we supposed to be inside a dream how could someone die in a beautiful dreamscape like this Shouldn't only good things happen here? Uh, whenever I see the Grand Theater, I just can't stop all these thoughts from flooding my head. Do you think the family is behind all this? No, no. After all, they've brought everyone this sleepy dreamscape, which everyone loves. I just... I feel like I'm starting to understand them less and less. Everyone's still having a great time out there on the streets. Nobody knows what's happened. It's all so unreal. As if Firefly, Miss Robin, and us were all outsiders from another world. Aw, what a mess. I really want a nice, cool drink of soda to help me calm down. <sighs> but then I'd be just like everyone else out on the streets. Venturine said something that concerns me. He accused that Galaxy Ranger of killing Robin without any evidence whatsoever, but said nothing about her connection to that Memory Zone meme or why he was stalking you. It was a groundless accusation, which only serves to make him seem more suspicious.
Maybe Aventurine's goal was never to gain our trust. Maybe he wanted to foster a feeling of enmity towards Acheron and make the situation more volatile. Two birds, one stone. However, I asked Don Hung back on the Express to confirm that story about the Annihilation Gang and the lost messages. It wasn't something that Aventurine made up out of thin air. You've met her many times now. What's your impression of Miss Acheron? It's the stereotype of a galaxy ranger to a T. They're eccentric, unpredictable, and fond of being alone. No wonder she's a suspect. Looks like Adventurine doesn't need anything else. Let's turn our attention to the family's assignment for now. Himako, what do you think? Among our current clues, the two murders that he witnessed are the most directly connected. I suggest starting here. One thing I'm curious about is, if a person dies in a dream, what happens to them in real life? Seeing as we're at the family's behest, why not pop back out to reality and verify Miss Firefly's situation back at the hotel? Perhaps we could also make a few inquiries about her while out there. How about we split off into two groups? There are still some things worth focusing on inside the dreamscape. I'll investigate those and we can link up again later. Worth focusing on? Oh, no problem. I'll leave it to you then. Huh? Aw, I thought I'd finally get to see Himeko and Mr. Yang go out on a mission together. Oh well. Take care then, Mr. Yang. <laughs> I will. Keep in touch. Hmm. Honored guest, uh, could you come out for a second? I'd be embarrassed, too, getting stared out like that. Forgive me. Uh, my name is Welt Yang. I'm one of the crew members on the Astral Express. I believe you've met my colleagues. Welt. Is there something about my name? First, don't you want to know my name? I already do, Miss Acheron. You're a prominent figure in Panacone. What are they saying about me? Some claim that you're the real culprit behind these murders. That the Annihilation Gang's tragic fate at the banquet was a result of your blade. And that you're now attempting to unleash another bloodbath on Panacone. The Annihilation Gang? Ifrit of Everflame Mansion. Tragic fate. That duke turned his dying body to flames and sacrificed his life as a martyr. He was a determined and heroic path strider. Not even a villain should be disparaged like this. And what's more, there were plenty of suspects invited. Do they really think that a blade is more dangerous than that black hole you're wielding? Keen intuition. Not even the family managed to point out the truth behind this cane. So you must surely know, Miss Acheron, that peering into a black hole is not a wise move. As a potential threat, your knowledge of us has reached uncomfortable depths. Reveal your true identity and intentions. Otherwise, brace yourself for gravitational disintegration. That shouldn't be necessary. But if it makes the nameless feel less defensive, I'll be happy to abide. 
Believe it or not, Galaxy Ranger, Acheron. Those are the names I go by to this very day. My trip to Panacone is solely to fulfill an old, final request. I'm here for the Watchmaker's legacy. And that's it. I think I've been honest enough. Still unwilling to reveal your true identity? It's not that I don't want to. It's just that I can't. I've come so far, and I can't sum up all of that in just a few words. Everyone has their own unspeakable past. Secrets that they don't want to be revealed. And I won't be asking any more questions, such as why the Astral Express is roaming around the cosmos with a Stellaron on board. <sighs> is he okay? That memo keeper didn't do anything, right? He's fine. Let's stick with the topic. Gaining my trust all depends on how much you're willing to reveal. I've run around many different Panacone dreamscapes just to try and find that legacy. And during this period, I came into contact with quite a few guests. In the process, I gradually came to realize the secret of Panacone may be closely related to the Trailblaze. That's why I've come to ask for your help. I don't have enough proof yet, but I'd like to speculate something. The source of all tragedy lies within the family. If you could trust me, we could find the proof to support this claim together. Mr. Yang, I think you've come to the same conclusion, haven't you? Let's leave it at that. For now, I'll choose to believe that you bear no hostility. Share your findings with me and me alone. I don't want vague conjecture to interfere with other people's judgments before we find solid proof. Mm-hmm. By the way, would you like something to drink? Before we go, how about two cups of wake the heck up? No, four cups. Because the conversation coming up will last forever. Seen him at the hotel in the real world. I've been watching her closely for a while now, and the first invitation was in the banquet hall of the hotel. She just sat in one corner, keeping silent. Chugging down a couple cups of wake the heck up. I told her it's a pungent, bitter beverage. Not the taste of sweet dreams. Only for people allergic to soul glad. And she said... Really? But I don't taste... any difference at all between them. The guest rooms are charmingly minimalist. An aesthetic you share, Miss Acheron. It's a cinch. This music box. The invitation received by the Annihilation Gang. There are latent memories that linger on it yet. You see, memories of you are not yours alone. They travel in other people, other things. I know much, and I can predict even more. With some help, the dead can be made to speak. The Annihilation Gang, that band of desperados who all disappeared after meeting you. What exactly happened to them? Well, let me reveal all. Gradation 12. Dreamscape 12. Father, I dedicate this to you. Well done, Dubra. Wherever they go, shall be met by annihilation. There it is. It's hazy, but it's Ifrit's voice. The other one 
is probably his progeny. This is the residual memory from when the invitation was first delivered. They were abruptly interrupted. Then, what happened next is... They sought refuge in the land of sleep. Merely wishing for undisturbed rest, away from the storms. Children of the flame, this marks your rite of passage. She won't be necessary. I alone am enough. When have thou, on the path of destruction, feared death? The Everflame Mansion has set out on a journey. Those poor people, they have no idea what lies in wait <clears throat> ahead of them. Memory recovery is going well, but slowly. She'll be here soon, and time is short. There's nobody else here, so there's no need to be delicate. In fact, I think I'd better go all out. <gasps> what happened? The memory after that is blank. How is that possible? This music box fell into Acheron's hands and she brought it to Panacone. That's a fact. And that's how it should have gone. But along the way... It's like it's been erased. Who's done this? Who are you? Who are you? It's... No. Is this not a memory? Oh, a memo keeper. Do you serve the Garden of Recollection? Or the Cremators? <coughs> My name is Constance. A pleasure to meet you. We were supposed to meet in Penagoni and spend it... <laughs> Unforgettable time together. But that seems unrealistic. Dahlia's not welcome on the banquet star, and I don't need a coming-of-age ceremony. And you... I know what you're looking for. Want her secret? I can give it to you, and then... You can enjoy the banquet for me. I wish you... Unforgettable memories. Oh. Hmm. A phone. Wanna listen in? And a moment on the other side. A few days ago, the IPC made an announcement. Under the watchful guidance of the Marketing Development Department and in accordance with the Interstellar Peace Charter, the independent Sigonian sovereignty has hereby been established and shall take a legislative seat at the Interstellar Congress. The formation of the Sigonian sovereignty is of great historical significance to the Sigonia system. This move puts an end to the planet's long and bloody history, turning the sensational Kataka Avgen extinction event into a distant memory. Sigonia IV is located in an unclaimed zone at the intersection of the Denise, Pruthian, and Dorneau star clusters. The planet's surface environment is known for being extremely harsh, constantly faced with the threat of impact from small-scale celestial objects. 
This is why very few intelligent species have made this planet their home, dividing themselves into several tribes to eke out nomad lifestyles as they struggle to survive the arid desert wilderness. They have developed their own folk beliefs that are independent of the Eon belief system. Sigonia. Sigonia. Ravenous eye of the storm, spurned by all the gods. Land of rock, but not water. Lightning, but not rain. Blood, but not tears. You beat us with your falling stars. You lash us with wind and storm. You chew us up with the cracked earth. You promised us a land of honey, yet yoked us beneath a sword of bitterness. Oh, Gyanthra Triclops, if thou can hear me, please open up thy three eyes and gaze upon this child. When you took his father, my child was still sleeping in my belly. And where my husband went, I too soon must go. I don't ask for a peaceful death. Just for you to tell me, does the baby swaddled sweetly asleep? Does he dream of his mother's heartbeat and the sound of falling rain? Please tell me whether this life is all just a fleeting dream. Otherwise, why would this child be born to face impending death? Mommy! 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 The rain! It's raining! Raining? <gasps> raining! <laughs> it is raining! It's true! Those outworlders weren't lying to us. They really did summon the rain. Mommy, we can leave here. We can go back home. Triclops, <laughs> you came. <laughs> Do you hear that? <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Darling, listen. This is the sound of rain. <laughs> On the day you were born, the sky also sent down a gift like this from Gayatra. <laughs> Such a lucky child. Such a blessed child. Just like your name. A gift from them to Avgen. <gasps> My boy. The goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful. And your schemes forever concealed. Time 
to wake up, gambler. <laughs> oh, heavens. <laughs> I must have drunk too much Soul Glad. Uh, didn't expect you to be back so soon. How is it? Find anything? Just as you guessed. Nobody outside knows about Robin's death. There aren't even baseless conspiracy theories. They are still streaming the rehearsal for her ceremony. Using a stand-in, I guess. <laughs> they must be dreaming. Of course. <laughs> Who could imagine that death would actually descend upon the idyllic dream created by the family? Let alone that the victim would be the female lead of the Charmony Festival. To be honest with you, I didn't believe it. I even tested it a few times myself. Until I discovered that I couldn't actually die. <laughs> Whenever there's any danger, I'm forced awake by the dream pool and it's all as if everything were just a nightmare. That's why I'm convinced that there are a few big secrets lurking behind the scenes. Then you must have heard about the Memory Zone meme. When I graciously deigned to establish connections with the Oak family on your behalf, they were quite in a pitiful state of disarray. Besides Robin, there was... another body. I don't know the exact details, just that it was... a stowaway. Two murder cases? <laughs> I told you something seemed off about the Nameless. Uh, he must have come across the other one. <laughs> this murderer is a psycho. But I have to admit, the case should be easy to crack. We can leverage the family's malfeasance and let the IPC use this as a reason to intervene. It's just that their trickery runs deeper than I thought. Robin's stand-in was all ready to go. <sighs> These two murders are definitely getting hushed up. Uh, what should we do? Let me think. It's too rare an opportunity to miss out on, so I gotta be careful. Incredible gambler. Have you already exhausted your limited repertoire of tricks so soon? Oh, there are plenty of chips, but it'd be best to choose carefully. The most straightforward has to be Robin. Remember? That masked fool once told me to find a mute as a friend. Robin is what she calls the mute. She has lost her voice, and while most people can't pick up on it, you and I cannot mistake that sound. Not produced by any voice box, but rather <clears throat> by the resonance of the harmony. If that girl hadn't gone hoarse from singing practice, there'd only be one possibility. Something was up with the family. Or Robin herself. To get to the bottom of this, I tried every way I could to meet her. But she died. Right before my very eyes. A complete and utter loss. Incidentally, it seems to have resulted in your rather undignified arrival on the interrogation stand. There were eyewitnesses at the scene, and the family, in their graciousness, has tentatively accepted your alibi. However, for the foreseeable future, you shall, regrettably, find yourself under the vigilant watch of the Hounds. Well, things aren't looking too optimistic, Doctor. I'm starting to break out in a cold sweat. D do you reckon... There's still any chance of a comeback, given how things are. A probability? Yes, it exists, but it verges on the infinitesimal. To phrase it in a manner more befitting the vernacular of Penacony, you're dreaming. But if you simply can't control yourself and want to try your hand, then there just so happens to be a suitable candidate. That man wants to see you again. Who? No. Sunday. <sighs> Is this a public hearing or a private trial? If it were the former, 
It would hardly befit my stature to stoop to the role of a mere messenger. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> well, that's great. It's all great. You see, the dead can't talk, but the living can. Ratio, I'm convinced now that there must be something wrong inside the family. Oh, <laughs> just you wait and see. That man's sister has died. He can't sit on his hands. Well, without any further ado, let's set off. Lead the way. The show is about to begin. We're here. The Dewlight Pavilion is the Oak family's fortress and a place where heads of the families meet to discuss great plans for Panacone. Fortress? <laughs> well, I like this metaphor. I dealt with the warlords of the Amanica star system not long ago, and their synchronized orbital manner wasn't this heavily guarded. This mansion normally belongs to Sunday, and is very befitting of its owner. Without his express invitation, the likes of ordinary guests would never grace these grounds in their lifetimes. Look around while you still have this moment of freedom. Hey, Doc. Whose side are you on anyway? Who's to say I won't sell you out? <laughs> we'll see. When we meet the authoritarian master of the Oak family, I'll pry an answer out of him. Follow me, and I'll bring you to his parlor. Hold your tongue, and let me deal with the members of the family. This side of paradise. of business. No entry. I was requested by Mr. Sunday to bring him the suspect. My name is Ratio. He should have mentioned it to you. Oh, I remember you. Veritas Ratio. Your punch virtual particle clock is impressive. Excuse me? Uh, the one on your head. Of course, it's nothing compared to my full pocket dimensional annihilating power armor of the Mobile Knights. Right, and as I mentioned, that fantasy raiment of yours doesn't exist. That's because you can't see it. Like I say, only family can see the glory of the Mobile Knights. Ugh, enough! Get going! Don't keep Mr. Sunday waiting! <sighs> it seems like the idiocy index here is no better than it is out there. Mm. There's a cute little body guy. <laughs> a dead end? The door is shut tight. Looks like we're on our own. I mean, there isn't a door. How did you get in before? For security reasons, the family built the administrative site deep in the dreamscape, with the mechanisms hidden in these Nightingale statues. The direction of the statues can be controlled. On the previous occasion, an attendant named Kona had gone to the side room to verify something before setting the statues in the correct positions. Well, maybe we should do the same. Let's go and take a look. Of course, 
We can also use brute force. This is hardly enough for a seat at the table. don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Dice have been cast. 
bust, or maybe I'll take it off. I have something for you. your head. <laughs> Combat is a series of precise machinations. <laughs> Better hedge your bets. <laughs> I told you I could fight. <laughs> Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. <laughs> Favor the vigor of You can't run! You're annoying! Try that again! Alright, I'll call your bet. Can't lose this one. Time for a detailed overhaul. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. My turn! <laughs> Naughty children, don't run. nap time. You won't get away! Oh! You can't run! Looks like I've got a winning hand. <laughs> Combat is a series of precise... Uh, uh. You have the worst luck running it. <laughs> Try that again! Watch your head! No reward with no risk. I'll take it. Six nightingales facing in different directions. An obvious hint. Mm. But are these nightingales? They are. What's wrong? How can nightingales be so huge? <laughs> they look more like torment eagles to me. There are no eagles in the five families, only nightingales. <sighs> Why am I wasting time with you on this? Oh, this is 
heal is actually here facing oh. <sighs> just as I thought here's the correct answer a truly miraculous discovery. Perhaps I should offer you the chance to join the Genius Society. Really? <laughs> well, I thought you'd given up on that already. I was being sarcastic. Can't you yeah. tell? I sure can. <clears throat> To the Dream Master's Hall. Oh, impressive. <laughs> well, so much for Mr. Sunday's reserved, virtuous image. Do you need me to remind you? We're in a dreamscape. No matter how grand the mansion looks, it'll not affect Penicone. Stop wasting your time nitpicking the family here. Yeah, you're right. The only way to destroy the family is death. <laughs> Sunday must have thought the same. Let's head down. <sighs> oh, oh no. Are we heading the wrong way? No, but this door is locked. My friend? Did you really make an appointment with him? It's a trial. You got to prove your worth to Sunday before you can speak with him. If I'm not wrong, we need to find a way to open this door in the hall or this place will be our prison. Oh, an escape room. <laughs> 
my favorite. I meant to escape. Right? Get serious. I've no time for games. Let's head back. The hint is probably in that prominent sandpit. <laughs> wow. I've been escape room. That's an enormous sandpit. <gasps> I'd love to build a tall building for myself. Sandpit. Once I have enough savings. Oh, look. There's a noticeable gap in the model. I believe you're right. There wasn't a gap before. That man must have done it intentionally. Well, with your brilliant mind, you shouldn't have any trouble recalling what was here last time. Right, Doctor? Of course. Let's look around. When I see it, I will know it. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Why do I feel that we're pursuing a degree in burglary now? It all. Looks like I've got a winning hand. Huh. No dirty tricks, all right. Try that again. All in. You won't get away. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. I have something for you. The pre off screen I've been trying to level up hard. Savor the vigor of hard talents. You can't run! You won't get away! Time for a detailed overhaul. I got a shift on something. One at a time! Uh -huh. My turn! Watch this! Naughty uh -huh. children still Damn. don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. You're in bad shape. Found it. Me. This is it.
you see my glasses and burn the shit out of me? Oh, and the nameplate reads Gulliver's Arch. <laughs> well, I'm amazed you can remember something this tiny. You know, this reminds me of a tunnel I once saw that could shrink people who passed through it. If I were you, I would shut my mouth. It's wise to remain silent when you should. Well, this reminds me of one of those building toys. I mean, with the blocks. <laughs> I've never played with them before. I wonder if it's more interesting than stacking chips. Oh, look. The gap is closed. And it fits perfectly. <laughs> so, what's next? Still in a dream? Indeed. Oh, Doctor, you're huge. It's me! Down here! In the, the sand pit! Oh, actually, I think we could make this work for us. Just find a way to slip me into Sunday's collar, and I'll infiltrate the family just like that. Oh, fine. I was just kidding. 
Let's find a way to open the door. Let's trade back to, to Trailblazer's POV. It's getting late. Where to now? I have to end this. Oh, shit. Make it be, 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 Mmm, before we got city up on the hill. Blech. That'll be it for today, but oops. We need to get anything new in the in the in the warp pole. You know, we are investigating what happened. Bend to Robin and Firefly if they're still alive or not. If they're alive or not. And nice. Then we up to something. Who is saying for real identity? Who is our true identity? Nobody knows. World keeps on spinning. Why did my mom see my pair of glasses? I would try to look for them all throughout. Anyway, I think my next live stream is gonna be tomorrow. At 1.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. on Genshin Impact. I think we're gonna do the next hangout event. Nice. Then, probably if we get to pull for Chiori. Which I highly doubt it, because I think I used up all my luck while pulling that loot, pulling that gene. <laughs> For more Hawkeye Star Wars content and Genshin content involved by other games. Oh yeah, if you missed this, if you missed the live stream, it'll be on Dominic Faith's Dominic Faith Games' <laughs> YouTube channel. And uh, and please subscribe to Dominic Faith's YouTube channel on YouTube. Follow Dominic Faith Games on Twitch and Twitter. Slot nice. Now, now called X for some reason. And don't forget to like Dominic Faith's official Facebook page, where along with the X page, I post a repetitive schedule of the day stream when I start streaming. Video links to the video links to the YouTube. Maybe with some screenshots. Anyway. Anyway, this is. Anyway, this is Don McAfee of Don McAfee Games. Signing off. See you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, I can find my glasses then. Anyway. <laughs>